We can name 1.3 billion reasons why China is a big deal. Baozun helps some of the world's biggest brands navigate e-commerce in the People's Republic. Does it have a place in your portfolio? You know what's growing even faster than e-commerce here in the U.S.? E-commerce in China. More and more consumers in the People's Republic are turning to online marketplaces like Alibaba for their shopping needs. And that means if you want to do business in China, you really need a digital presence. Which brings me to Bao Zun, which actually trades here. The ticker symbol is BZUN. It's one of the leading Chinese providers of e-commerce solutions that helps companies do everything from designing a website to implementing information technology infrastructure, all the way to managing inventory and analyzing consumer data. These guys have some huge customers. I'm talking about Microsoft, Panasonic, J&J, Philips, Levi Strauss, Tommy Hilfiger, haagen just to name a few. If you want to do business on the web in China, I think you got to go to Bao Zun. That's how this company's growing its revenue with a phenomenal clip, and it's why they're profitable. Tyler in New Jersey asked about Bells on, on, on July 7th, and, and Bells saw the call on the show. And this is the second CEO, by the way, this week who's appeared thanks to our fabulous callers. So let's take a closer look with Vincent Chu. He's the chairman and CEO of Bells to get a better sense of how his company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. Chu, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good to Have see you, seat. Jim. Thank you. Thank Have you. a seat. Thank you. All right, uh, let, let me ask you something, Vincent. I want to call you Vincent. Mm-hmm. Um, I have always marveled that some companies do incredibly well in China. For instance, Nike. And then I see that as a customer of you. So, what would you do for a Nike? Yeah, it's a good question, Jim. Actually, uh, we just here to uh, bring all the brands to be successful in Chinese e-commerce, e-commerce market. So, in this case, for example, Nike. We set up the official web stores, their websites. Website, okay. We just build up their stores on Tmall, right. which is an Alibaba platform. Okay. And we run all this business for them. Yeah, so uh, it's happy to see that from very small numbers of sales to today's billions of sales of Nike in this e-commerce. This, that's the way we help okay. the well, brands. And how do you get paid by Nike? Generally, it is uh, quite a uh, service fee okay. plus a commission, this kind of, uh, you know, mechanism for mm-hmm. most of the brands. Yeah. Now, it's funny. I was talking to my staff, and I said, now, wait a second. They have haagen People can't ship. You don't order uh, haagen uh, online. It's ice cream. But then they tell me that there's an advertising component of, uh, of Alibaba that we don't have on Amazon and that that's a great opportunity for somebody like haagen but they need you to do that, too. Yes, haagen is a very special case. Actually, we sell two kinds of products through online. First thing is the coupons, and then the real ice cream. Coupons, yeah. coupons. Yeah, so coupons is a good way to do the marketing plus sales. You can redeem all the coupons on the offline stores. Oh, so that's how they do it. Okay, now one of the guys, you know, we have, I know you watch the show, so we have Manny Trico on all the time, and he is the CEO of PVH. Uh-huh. And he has been telling me that Tommy Hilfiger's been turning on the jets in China. Again, I must think that means he has to consult with yours, people consult with you, yeah. to figure out how to position the brand of Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as you said, it is a very good thing for you to mention Tommy Hilfiger because it's one of the most latest brands we are working with. Oh, really? Yeah. Just, uh, you know, last month, we just, actually this month, we just opened their store on Tmall. Okay. And we are out there, you know, uh, trying to make the business better. So Tommy is, uh, you know, uh, it's a new brand, and right. we hope that in the coming years we can bring them very, very, uh, you know, high... Uh, I'm counting on it. The yeah. stock of PVH has been doing well, and I've been saying and part of that is because of the diversification out of the U.S. into China. Yeah. Now, uh, when Jack Ma comes here and talks about helping small, medium-sized businesses to do business in China, I would imagine that, again, they just can't go over and put a website up. They need the help of a company like you. Yes, you know, we are, a, uh, we are in the middle of a brand and a platform like right. Alibaba and Timo. So we have a very big space to deliver a bunch of services to make that possible. So, uh, for, for example, it's not only the big brands like Nike mm-hmm. and also smaller brands today, but can be bigger, you know, in the future. Right. We also have this kind of boutique and the smaller, medium-sized brands to, you know, conduct their e-commerce business in China as well. Okay, it also sounds like that when I read through your uh, excellent training, you have tremendous transparency, which I absolutely love. Yeah. Warehouse and fulfillment. So that's something else I wouldn't have to worry about because of Balzant. Yeah. Uh, actually, 
Today we are a uh, one-stop you know, solution yeah. provider in China, or we can call this a full-service uh, provi uh, okay. pr provisioning. Uh, so from the very front end, we, we, we call this digital marketing, but it's mm -hmm. actually doing advertisements, promotions for the brands, and then the sales. You know, we generate the orders on the website. And the last part is the fulfillment side. You need to right. ship all this to your end consumers. So that's the three aspects we are, we are doing. But you can also help me with search uh, engine optimization so that my ads will be seen? Yes, definitely. That is part of our digital marketing services. Jeez. Yeah, so from the very, very front end to the very back end. Okay, so uh, I noticed at the beginning of the transcript, you used the term same store sales as a metric yeah. to be able mm -hmm. to gauge. I always try to tell people at home, try to figure out the metric so we know apples to apples. Why is that a good measure, same store sales? You know, our, you know, Jim, actually our growth is a composition of different aspects. Yeah. One is that the same brand growth means that compared to the last year, how, how big is the growth of this same brand right. today? And the other dimension is that we are attracting more and more new brands on board. So that is also add to the growth of Baozun. So that's why, you know, as a primary uh, metrics, uh, the same store growth is so, so important. Well, I, I have to tell you, I man, I, I did all the work on this stock and I was surprised at how the market capitalization is still very small yes. versus the opportunity. And that's why a man of our caller I think seems very right. I'm always a re little reticent to recommend Chinese stocks because I have to know what I'm doing. And sometimes mm -hmm. I say, you know, you know, look, it's on you. But I would tell people, do the homework. But this sounds like a very exciting story. And I'm recommending Alibaba. It's the only Chinese stock I'm recommending. So I think that this is a very good companion to Alibaba. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I hope that in the future we can be the second year. Uh, I hope so. And I hope <laughs> you come back on the show. That's Vincent Chu, the chairman and CEO of Balzon. And again, thank you to our callers for bringing companies to my attention that I otherwise do not know. They have money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.